Am I going to hit it? Nope. Where are you putting it? I'm not sure yet. Might just have to lay it down. Go! <gasps> Thanks for tuning in to our first house flip. My name is Stephanie and this is my husband, Tyler, and we flipped our first house in Lolo, Montana. So when we first saw this house, we knew it was gonna be a huge project without a doubt, but we were willing to take it on even though it wasn't our first flip. This house was a huge mess. From the outside, there was stuff scattered everywhere and the inside there was even more stuff. The previous owner before us had lots and lots of cats, which is why we are nicknaming this house the litter box. <laughs> you were going like this the whole time. As soon as we walked through the door, it hit us. Smelled like a litter box. Tasted like one too. <laughs> Gross. for a few hours and got most of the bulk cleaned out and today we... and when she says most of it an eighth of it <laughs> <laughs> today we've been working for about three or four hours and it's it's about halfway done we're making good progress so we're a good team good and that's all folks it's not all Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> we rolled up the carpets and they were so heavy there was so much feces on top of it. They were just a heavy mess and they stunk so bad. We literally pulled it out of the house and laid it on the grass and within like a day, the grass underneath was dead. It was, yeah. it was that potent, it was so bad. When we first saw the waterbed, we knew it was gonna be a problem uh, draining it, especially when we saw that there was no hose hookup to it or we didn't have the right adapter piece to hook the hose up to drain it so we knew we were going to be in for a chore this waterbed was such a nightmare it was so heavy you couldn't move it you couldn't hook a hose up anywhere to drain it out so we just decided to fill little containers which was taking forever and then disaster struck <laughs> oh! Oh no, our worst nightmare. <laughs> we didn't realize that as soon as we kind of started to bend it and move it, it just broke. And yeah, and water went everywhere. So that was a really tough process because it took forever to get just scoop out the water through the window, but we made it. Go today. <laughs> we had a really good day today. We got a lot done. We almost had the entire house cleaned out. Got really the carpets day. ripped out. We got the waterbed drained. It was quite the process. And uh, got a lot of demo done. Looks good other than that. Back at it tomorrow. day three of demo and we're gonna try to get the entire house cleaned out we only have two bedrooms left so I think we can do it and the garage and the garage beautiful day out and we're gonna get lots done action It's the 
end of day three today and we got so much done. We got the entire house cleaned out and I'm really proud of us. I think we did really good. So we just decided to do white trim, white siding, and it went really good with the brown roof, except it looked a little plain. So Tyler decided to make some shutters, and he did such an amazing job. The shutters really made it pop. It made it look so good from the curbside. Just the, without the shutters, it was so plain and boring, and then the shutters just made it 100% complete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and once we got the shutters on, the exterior was done, completely mm -hmm. done. So from the outside, the project looked finished, but there's still a lot of work to do on in the inside. Yeah. Now that the crawl space is mitigated, we can tear up all the moldy boards that are making this place smell. Mm -hmm. And the cat pee soaked uh, sub floor and uh, keep working on the bathroom, rip all the floor out of there, get all the rotten sub floor and moldy stuff. You're so serious. Okay. <laughs> okay. Part where we started cutting out the subfloor wherever it was still wet with food or pee. This Which was a huge relief because that was the biggest thing was just getting yeah. everything out. We knew once we got all the junk out uh, that we could really start making progress. Now all the subfloor is replaced and we can really start painting because we don't want to lay the floor before we, we paint. paint. In order to really seal the smell up and make sure it didn't stink in there, we wanted to do a layer of Kills paint. So Tyler kills the whole house. Once all the painting was done, it was a really big achievement for us because it was the first time that you could walk into the house and it actually smelled good. It just smelled like paint. There was no uh, cat odors, anything else like that. So we knew we could really start doing those finishing touches then. The next step was we laid the floor and hung all the trim and installed the cabinets, installed countertops, door jams, door jams, just all the finishing touches. Got that place looking brand new. It was no longer a litter box. It was a... It was the makings of our <laughs> finished product.
toilet flushes and that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, I've used it. <laughs> <laughs> Steph doesn't know I'm in here. I'm gonna scare her. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs>